All right. Uh, now, as promised, I am going to talk about XG Boost, and um, I will also talk about support vector machine in this same video. Um, so XG Boost is another ensemble method, and you can read more about it on my website here. Um, and I have a link to the XG Boost documentation, which is right here. So XG Boost is uh, uh, use it, they use is the algorithm that uses the gradient boosting framework um, that provides a parallel tree boosting. Okay, so here I just import the XG Boost, and as usual, I um, get the uh, so I demonstrated this in uh, the, I think, model preparation video in the, let me check, the model preparation part two, where I demonstrated how to um, reload the extracted features file to be a uh, pickle file to be used in a model. So here I'm just doing the same thing. I'm reloading the extracted features for the five second audio and average pulled pickle file. and um, also the non-audio features. And then I am just checking to make sure that the labels are consistent. This is the same stuff that we went over in, uh, in the earlier video. And then I shuffle the data and uh, while I encode the continents. And now we're finally at the XG boost model. So I create the training features by concatenating all, all the features. Um, so similarly as before, we have around 8,000 samples with 50, 59 features. Okay, and then we can use the XG boost. So we use the XG boost uh, classifier by passing in Dart as a booster, and then we can fit the mod, uh, fit the features and the um, labels into the model, and then uh, which will give us the score, which is the um, uh, accuracy. So you can see here our training accuracy is one hundred percent, but uh, validation accuracy is only seventy percent. And then similarly, uh, we can evaluate the results by looking at the classification report and the confusion matrix for the training and validation. So uh, similar to the random forest, I ran this on a number of different combinations of features. As you can see here, each of these uh, sections are um, the models ran with the different combinations of features. And I also ran the models with the um, eight second uh, framed audios and five seconds augmented framed audios and eight seconds augmented framed audios. Okay, so um, to look at the result here, I'm just gonna throw a uh, scroll down to the bottom. We can see that uh, the, uh, the best performing feature uh, combination is the MFCC plus chroma plus continents. Again, the similar to uh, Random right forest, this is very overfitted. As you can see, our training accuracy is 100%, while our validation accuracy is only 70%. So this is a quite big gap here. Uh, but uh, this 70% is actually not too bad, but uh, it's it's not as good as uh, I was hoping it would be. Uh, so to uh, there are a, lot, a number of uh, hyperparameters that could be tuned. Um, like for example, the, uh, let me see, the max step, the max step, and the uh, number of estimators. So here uh, we just kept the max step as none, and then the number of meters equal to 100. So um, and there are many other hyperparameters that we can tune. So we can use uh, the uh, scikit-learn grid search to ha to hyper tune the uh, the hyperparameters in our model. I did that in a separate notebook, but um, uh, at the end of the day, it didn't really improve the result because uh, as you can see, the model is already uh, over overfitted when we only have 100 estimators. Um, even if we have more estimators, uh, the model cannot learn anything more from the training data. So in order to improve the model, we'd probably need um, a more complicated algorithm or we need more training uh, data to, to, to improve the model. Since we don't have any more training data, um, the I think the XG boost in this model here is the, the best we can get with this data here. But uh, of course, feel free to play around with the data and the model to see if you can get any better results. And that's it for XG boost. Uh, it's super easy. Um, essentially, you just need to call the XG boost. Um, 
uh, algorithm using the XGBoost classifier library, uh, XGBoost uh, library by calling the XGBoost classifier. Um, and that's it. There isn't really much that you need to do other than hypertuning the models. And then next, we'll move on to the support vector machine. So uh, support vector machine, I also included a documentation on my website and you can read more about the support vector machine on my website as well. But essentially the um, idea is that it's an algorithm that's used to identify a hyperplane that segregates or classifies the data points in an n-dimensional space. Uh, so if we imagine each of the features as a dimension, um, we there and each of the data point as a dot on the, this n-dimensional space, um, we can um, draw a hyperplane that uh, could uh, separate the dots from one another. So uh, that's the um, you know the what su support vector machine is, but uh, obviously it's a little bit more complicated than that, and there are uh, other hyperparameters and uh, stuff that could be changed. So uh, I'm just using a scikit-learn support vector machine. Uh, here I import the SVC, which is the support vector classification. And then uh, similar to before, we get the features and the labels, and I'm just gonna scroll over these. And then uh, once we get to the support vector machine model, uh, again, it's very easy. We just need to call the SVC method, and then we can pass in the kernel, and C is the regularization uh, parameter. So C I set to uh, four in my default model here. And then uh, the kernel, I use the RBF. Um, so RBF is the default one. Uh, you know, there are many kernels that we can uh, choose from. Je definitely for our data, we don't want to use linear. So linear means when the, um, the data points can be linearly separated. And I really doubt our data can be linearly separated. We have so many features. Um, and polynomial means, uh, you know, if uh, we can separate it by a parabola. Um, and then there's the other things that too, we can consider. So here I just use the RBF as the, as, as the kernel. And then, so yeah, it's again, very easy. We just need to fit the uh, training data by passing in the features and the labels and uh, we can get the accuracy. We can see here the training accuracy is 93% and the validation accuracy is 73%. Again, I uh, you. Uh, train the model on a number of different combinations of features and uh, with a five second framed audio, eight second framed audio, and with uh, augmentation. And we can just take a look at the result real quick. Basically, uh, MFCC plus Chroma plus Continence has uh, the best performance uh, of all different feature combinations. We have the 90% training accuracy and 72% validation accuracy here. Uh, this is definitely if we compare it to the XGBoost result, um, you know, with the same features and the same framed audio, uh, support vector machine is a little bit better and uh, definitely um, less overfitted. So, um, so uh, I, I do want to note that to, to run the support vector machine is uh, much faster than to run the XGBoost model, uh, something to consider. And, um, you know, the validation accuracy between the two, two uh, different algorithms are really close. I wouldn't really say support vector machine is, um, you know, doing a much better job. It could just be uh, some randomness at play here. So uh, in general, the two algorithms are performing similarly um, with the S uh, support vector machine being a little bit less overfitted. And uh, you can read about the different um, discussions for the uh, random forest, actually boost, and uh, support vector machine on my website as well. So um, for the support vector machine, I also did hyper tuning, but again, the hyper tuning did not improve the performance of the models. Uh, um, all, the, all these notebooks uh, will be available on my GitHub. So definitely take a look if, if you're um, interested. And next up, I will be talking about logistic regression. So for logistic regression, I will be using TensorFlow to implement. Um, I think this is something that uh, probably a lot of people are excited about. So um, I hope you can tune in to uh, listen to that. Thank you.